Hello. Today we are going to talk radiators. Personally, I think it's a very cool subject. Part of the internal combustion process is the generation of heat. Once this heat is used to rotate the engine, it has to go somewhere. Much of it goes out the exhaust, but plenty of it stays around in the metal parts of the engine. Unless our intent is to melt the components down, it has to be dealt with. Thus, the radiator becomes a necessity. Radiators transfer heat from a coolant back into the atmosphere. They are really the primary component of getting unwanted heat out of the system. Today's designs of body styles require less and less open areas in the front of vehicles. Additionally, under hood temperatures are ever increasing. This puts an even larger demand on today's cooling systems. The size of radiators is also under pressure to allow for the needed space to house the radiators. Today, most radiators are cross-flow style. That is, the coolant flows from one side to the other. This places the tanks on either end of the radiator. Most radiators today are aluminum cores with plastic tanks or ends. Some will have a cap and others are just part of a closed system that only allow access through the surge or overflow tank. If there is a cap, it will most likely be in the plastic portion. Other features of today's radiators might allow for sensors, drains, other component coolers, or specialized mounts. It's very important that your customer realize that these components are mounted in plastic and can be a source of aggravation if they over torque or cross thread a fitting or a mount. These can be tenuous warranty conversations and need to be avoided if possible. You better warn them. When assisting a customer with a radiator purchase, be sure they have done the proper diagnostics. Is it really the radiator? Have they pressure tested the old one? Is it for sure leaking? If the answer is yes, go on with the sale. Be sure they have thought about hoses, clamps, thermostats, coolant, new cap, and even a water pump. It's easier to do these while they're into the system. If testing equipment is needed, a good pressure tester is a good place to start. Just be sure they know to be very careful when attaching the tester parts to that plastic portion of the radiator. That's about all for now. Thanks for watching and be sure to keep cool.